Okay, so in this video, we want just to see how we can solve this interesting question here, which is saying what horizontal force must be applied to a large block of mass M shown in the figure below, so that the blocks remain stationary relative to M. Assume all surface and the pulley are frictionless. Uh, notice that the force exerted by the string accelerate M2. Okay, so what we need to understand here is uh, they are saying that um, from this point here, the question is saying stationary, it remains stationary relative to M1. Meaning that this point here, the acceleration for M1 is going to be zero. So the acceleration in uh, vertical acceleration is going to be zero. Okay, so if the vertical acceleration is going to be zero, then we can start from here to say... Um, we know that from Newton's second laws, we know that the uh, net force is going to be the force that we have here is um, this force which we have. We want to find that force. Okay, so we are going to put that force, that is the only force we have. So according to Newton's second law, we replace this with mass times acceleration. But remember, we have three masses, so we are going to say the total mass. Okay, so we're going to say the total mass, which I can just say this. So I can just say um, the capital M, then plus M1, M2 times acceleration. Okay, so this has to be equal to the force. But how can we find the acceleration? We are saying that the acceleration in the y direction is going to be zero, the vertical acceleration. So we can now get this, we have the tension force here, so we can say that we are going to have the weight force of m1. So we can say that the summation of all the forces in y direction, when we add them they're supposed to give us zero because we don't have the acceleration in y direction. So we can say that the forces which you have, we have the tension force minus the w which is going to be m1 times g is going to be equal to zero. So my tension force is going to be equal to m1 a. Okay so we know that this t and this t is going to be the same but we are going to have the vertical the horizontal acceleration. So we can say that for M2, we are going to have the summation of all the forces in X direction, we have the tension force. So we, we are going to have the acceleration which is going to be like this. So we can say that uh, our T, this is supposed to be G, our T, this T and this T is the same. So we can say that T1, let's say this is T1, this is T2. So it's going to be T1 is going to be equal to T2. So we can say that um, our M2A is going to be equal to M1G. Okay, so we can solve the A. So it's going to be A is going to be equal to M1G divided by M2. So meaning that where there is this acceleration, since I don't have acceleration there, I'm going to plug in M1G divided by what? Divided by um, uh, M2. So I'm going to go there and say my, my force is going to be equal to the m m1, m2, then my acceleration now I'm going to replace with m1, g, everything divided by m2. So let's now plug in the values. That will be now the force exerted by the word, by, by this guy. So we're going to have uh, our force is going to be our big M, which is 20, plus 8, plus 5, and then we have also the m1 is 8, times 9.8, everything divided by uh, m2 which is 5. Okay so we get our calculator and find our answer. We're going to see that in the value which I'm getting is 517.44 517.44 newtons. So this is how we get to, to, to solve this question. Okay.